All right, so Paul, in this course, we're gonna deal with some super gigantically big numbers. How are we actually gonna deal with this? Now, the normal way we deal with super gigantically big numbers is by using words like millions and trillions and billions. The trouble is that for astronomy, this just isn't enough. I mean, the, the mass of the sun is 2,000 trillion, trillion, trillion kilograms. At this point, it's getting pretty meaningless, right? That's right. I mean, talking about octillion kilometers is just, <laughs> you're just making up words. It is a real word, but it just, no one can comprehend that. That's right. Now, if you just want to impress people by you know, bragging rights here, this is several billion, billion, billion bigger than yours, then it's, it's great, it's big. But we have to worry about different types of bigness. So for example, Jupiter is very big and the Sun is very big. They're both billions and billions and trillions, but they're different amount of billions and billions and trillions and that difference really matters. Exactly, because a lot of in this course is comparing the bigness of these sizes. So we actually have to be able to comprehend the scale that we're talking about. So what are we going to use? So what we're going to use is scientific notation. Now, you may be familiar with scientific notation already. If you, if you know, if I tell you what's 6 by 10 to the 23 plus 2 by 10 to the 24 and you know the answer just like that, feel free to skip over this whole video. But if you're not sure about it, then keep watching because we're going to explain scientific notation, which you will need throughout this course. Now, a number in scientific notation looks something like this. So it might be 3.5 by 10 to the 11 or... 1.79 times 10 to the minus 4. So it's always some number times 10 to some power. So let's look at the powers of 10 first. So 10 to the naught is 1. 10 to the 1 equals 10. 10 to the 2 equals 100. 10 to the 3 equals 1,000, and so on. So the index power, 10 to the 3, so that would be 3, gives you the number of zeros. 10 to the 2 is 1 followed by 2 zeros. 10 to the 1 is 1 followed by 1 zero. 10 to the 0 1 followed by 0 zeros. If you have minus indexes, so 10 to the minus 1 is 0 0.1. 10 to the minus 2 is 0 0.01. 10 to the minus 3 is 0 0.001, and so on. So that's what the 10 to the whatever means. Note that as this number goes up, everything goes up by a factor of 10. So 10 to the 11 is 10 times more than 10 to the 10, not just once. So going from like 10 to the 20 to 10 to the 23 is making your number a thousand times bigger, not just three times bigger. So this little index up here makes a huge difference. How about the numbers in front? So let's say um, 3.5 by 10 to the 5. 10 to the 5 is 1 with 5 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 3.5 would be 3, 5, 0, 0, 0, 0. Likewise, I don't know, um, 1.7 times 10 to the minus 2. Now 10 to the minus 2 is 0 0.01. This is going to be 0 0.017. So let's imagine now we want to do something with scientific notation. Let's say we want to multiply some numbers. So let's say we wanted to multiply 3 by 10 to the 6 times 2 by 10 to the 5. Now what you do is you take the numbers out front and multiply them together. So that's 3 times 2. And then the powers, you add the indexes. So this is 10 to the 6, 10 to the 5. So if you're multiplying the two numbers together, you add them. So that'll be times 10 to the 6 plus 5, which is 3 times 2 is 6, times 10 to the 11. So multiplying them, multiply the numbers out front, add the indexes, 10 to the power, whatever it is. If you divide, let's say we want 3 by 10 to the 6 divided by 2 by 10 to the 5. So you take the numbers at the front and divide them, so that's 3 over 2. And you now subtract the indexes, so it's going to be 10 to the 6 minus 5. So that's going to be 3 over 2 is 1.5 times 10, 6 minus 5 is 1. 
which is just going to be 15. So multiplying and dividing is pretty easy. Adding and subtracting is a bit harder. Let's try adding these two. So 3 by 10 to the 6 plus 2 by 10 to the 5. Now the trick here is to, if they've got different indexes, if it's just the same, if it's 3 by 10 to the 6 plus 2 by 10 to the 6, then it's just going to be 3 plus 2, 5 times 10 to the 6. If you've got different indexes, in this case 6 and 5, what you should do is move everything to the lower index. So when we have everything is times 10 to the 5. Now 3 by 10 to the 6 is 3 times 10 times 10 to the 5, plus 2 by 10 to the 5. So that's 30 plus 2 times 10 to the 5, i.e. 32 times 10 to the 5, which can also be written as 3.2 by 10 to the 6. So in general, if you need to add or subtract things with powers, take whichever power is the lowest and just um, convert the, the higher one till it has the same units. And that's about all there is to it. Uh, this is a very useful technique for dealing with very large and very small numbers. The main things to worry about is that this index up here makes a huge difference, whereas the number in front is a relatively small effect. But really pay attention to these things and how you multiply and add.